One thing that every beginner wants to know. Hey what's up guys, Drool here and in this video we will cover the topic that every beginner has been asking for like how do you mask the goddamn hair in Photoshop and this is a subjective topic I mean different conditions different output so I have selected an image as simple as possible so that I can demonstrate the, like the method that I use properly now as you can it is fairly simple image white background and black hair so how do you start the process so first of all I'd like to use my quick selection tool as you can see here and make a rough selection around her something like this and since it's a white uh, black in front of white it shouldn't be that difficult and as you can see I have made a selection of her body properly but the hair doesn't have to be accurate like uh, the basic of the selection would work just fine as you can see if I zoom in uh, I hope you can see in the recording so that's fine and then uh, once this thing is done select your mask option from here and click it so it will apply a layer mask now to actually see the image properly I'm gonna create a solid layer from here and in the solid uh, I'm gonna keep a fairly bright color uh, so that one seems fine and hit ok now put this under your this layer so as you can see now we have this white fringing and her hair it doesn't look really good after that you need to select your mask not the image uh, the mask then right click on that and select refine mask now in the refine mask first of all check this option smart radius and after that make the radius full 100% actually to 50% so it looks like magic doesn't it and it is like it saves a lot of time and after that uh, we need to still get uh, the rest of the remaining hairs like this as you can see so just paint directly there is a default brush as you can see here and all you have to do is just paint with that and it's not like a really difficult job kids in kindergarten can do this uh, it's just tedious process <laughs> and uh, a bit risky sometimes uh, because it can also like uh, create a lot of fringe uh, but I will show you a way how to get rid of this really a white thingy as you can see here which really doesn't look good so I think we have covered fair amount of hair that it uh, looks uh, enough to look like natural so that seems fine and after that we need to get rid of the fringing which is actually more important than the the first step because most of people can get, can that, can't get that right <laughs> my tongue so click these options and then uh, first of all let's take it this way uh, and give it some time now nah, it doesn't do anything so take it right way and as you can see it got rid of that and it looks like magic and it is because I really love this option so make sure it also looks a bit natural like this one it literally looks like black painting so I'm gonna keep it a bit uh, this way and then let's paint a little bit here and we are good to go and here there and you can now get the idea like if there is any smudge or something like that just hit ok I mean just paint it <laughs> and now you have to hit ok and you can uh, like explore this further options but I think this one looks better this way hit ok now uh, one bitter reality and if you don't have this kind of different layer after hitting ok uh, here's the trick right click refine mask whenever you hit ok make sure there is a layer mask option selected and then hit ok so it will look something like this not a big deal so it looks something like this and after that uh, as you can see it looks fine right now but if I change the color to the dark as you can see it doesn't look that attractive I mean it, it sure uh, was looking cool in bright background but the moment you start making it dull uh, as you can see the fringe appears and that's the backdrop of uh, lower resolution images like you cannot deal with it really good so as you can see now I can use any color I want and if you think uh, that the mass is not enough hit ok so as you can see this image looks fine but if you want even more growth in the hair uh, just press ctrl J and it will make your image like it will duplicate it and as you can see now it fills in a lot of hair and I can make another copy and it looks even better so, and then uh, all you have to do is uh, select this layers by pressing ctrl key and click on them and then press ctrl E so now you have your image on a separate layer uh, totally cut from the background and you can put anything in behind her uh, as you can see so the important thing I would say like if you're going to photograph someone uh, click them in front of gray background or in the white background because whenever a photographer photographs something a model and if they know like they are going to cut it 
so they choose gray or white background because it's easier to get rid of uh, so that's one tip and another is user image that is really high resolution because that will have a lot of data and that will allow Photoshop to like do its work properly. So select a high resolution image and if you're going to photograph it, photograph it in front of gray or white background. Gray would be best option. So that's it for this video. This was a really short one and I wanted to cover this thing because many people like beginners especially have struggled with it. So if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, ask me in the comments, uh, hit that like button. It helps my videos a lot. And if you're interested in even more Photoshop tutorials, uh, you can click any of these boxes or you can go to my channel where I have more than 65 free Photoshop tutorials for everyone and you can subscribe to my channel. So every time I upload a new video, you will get an update. Uh, so till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.